the creators did a terrible job of selling what this movie actually is. The truth can seem like this kiddie fair movie for the six to nine year old crowd, and while there is some of that here in terms of the humor, this movie was actually a very mature, thought provoking story about the proletariat rebelling against the bourgeoisie. I'm not kidding. There's not a lot of Transformers type action in this movie. It's more of a story of class struggle and depression, which is weird. But it works. The story is serious and deals with these mature themes, which is how the humor brings it down. It feels like the movie was made for two different audiences. The adults who grew up with the original G1 Transformers, and then their kids. It's a very weird mixture of tones that doesn't always mesh well. It feels like the first couple of seasons of Star Wars The Clone Wars, where it was this very serious war drama, that he had the cheesy one-liners for the battle droids. The story is also very reminiscent of X-Men First Class and Ants, but the animation is stunning. It looks like toys come to life and is immersive. The film also has some quick references and Easter eggs related to Transformers that fans will appreciate. While not all of it lands, and it's hard to tell who exactly the target audience for this is, since kids won't really pick up on the complex themes of the film, the film is definitely better than the trailers and is more than meets the eye. Read Transformers 1 gets a B, 8 out of 10, and 4 out of 5 stars.